Good evening. My name is Ana E. Galante, A N A H I. My last name, Galante, G as in George, A L A N T E. I am an interface minister and I am the co chair of Garden State Equalities Latino and Latina Caucus. And I am here to testify that New Jersey civil union law is hurting the Latino and Latina community disproportionately. Latinos now comprise 13.3% of the New Jersey population. Our state is home to more than 1.1 million Latino and Latinas, according to the 2000 census. These numbers far underrepresent the totality of our Latino and Latina immigrant community. A 2004 study from the Urban Institute indicates that more than 12,000 children are being raised in New Jersey by same-sex parents. And according to a joint 2005 study by the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force and the National Latino Coalition for Justice, Latino and Latina same-sex couple households are significantly disadvantaged compared to white non-Hispanic same-sex couple households in terms of income, education, home ownership, and disability. Same-sex couple households in which both partners are Latino or Latina earn at least 25,000 less on average per year than white same-sex couple households. In New Brunswick, this commission heard that at least one in every six civil unionized couples in New Jersey have had their civil unions denied recognition by an employer. Members of the commission, as you, know, as you now know, it is not just true that civil unions provide all rights of marriage, simple without the name. And we, we heard it tonight, and I'm sure you heard it before, and you will continue to hear that. Given the income and other disparities between Latino and Latina same-sex couples and much of the rest of society, Latino and Latina people in New Jersey are among those being hurt most by our state's continued denial of marriage equality. Now, you have asked us to answer some of your questions, and I'm going to speak more generally now, even in my experience, not, as, not only as a member of the gay and lesbian community, but also as an interface minister. So I'm departing from the Latino and Latina issue, which is very dear to me, and I'm answering some of your questions. Employers and hospitals do not recognize civil unions. Civil unions keep people separate because, as we know, equal but separate is not equal. Not many couples seek it. I thought that my phone will ring and ring and ring, and it doesn't because gay and lesbian couples know that we are being cheated and no one wants to enter into something that the law allows to be cheated. I had been called to sign a civil union because we know that his employee will take me, you know, for the health insurance, but we don't care about it. So that hurts us at so many levels, and I hope that you hear the plea of that hurt, because that hurt does not make the statistics, does not get reported. I'm telling you what I get on my phone calls with my friends and the people that seek my services and interface minister. And of course I say, well, you know, I didn't get ordained to sign a paper. 
so go somewhere else too. And that hurts me, and that hurts my relationship with my community. Lastly, answering your questions, civil unions are also very expensive to the state. We need, create, we need to create a new set of forms. Nobody knows how to use them. You need to train people in every single office, hospital, and, and firm. Training needs to, be, to take place. And training for what? To sustain inequality? I don't think so. Not in my state that doesn't hate. Going back to my passion, the Latino and Latina community. I also want to pose the question, a question to this commission. In a state that has pioneered the right of same-sex couples to be parents, why would our very same state send a signal to the children of these parents that their families deserve an inferior label? What kind of damaging psychological signal does that send, including, but not limited, to children of Latino and Latina same-sex parents. The denial of marriage equality affects the Latina women especially. 54% of Latina same-sex couples, where both partners are women, have at least one child. Female Latina couples are raising children at nearly 80% the rate of Latino and Latina married opposite sex couples. For economic security, for the stability of our families, and to send our children a signal that their families are equal to all others. I ask this commission as a leader in the Latino and Latina community to recommend to the state legislature that our civil union law be replaced with nothing but marriage equality. Thank you very much for your time, for your work, and for this opportunity.